What's up guys, Winter Kills here. Welcome back to a brand new featured archetype. Today we're going to be going over ABC. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about ABC, and if you don't, let me give you a little info on what this deck is basically going to be. Uh, now, I know probably most of all of you, if you don't know ABC, you know XYZ uh, from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, uh, Kaibo with his XYZ cards. They all kind of formed it like a puzzle to form a much bigger monster. Um, now we're getting another structure deck uh, coming up, I think, later this month. And it's going to have uh, the ABC cards in it. Of course, it's going to be one of those decks that's going to be really meta-breaking. And it's going to come in a structure deck, so you're going to need to spend 30 bucks just to get the gist of it. Of course, you'll need to spend some money on some other cards. Uh, if you want to play those in a deck like Galaxy Soldier or Pot of Desires or High Rarity Photon Thrashers. You're going to have to look uh, a little bit further than just structured decks with those cards. But ABCs, much like XYZs, are going to be a, another deck coming out that is going to have a fusion monster uh, that has basically a combination of all three of those letters. But this deck is going to be much, much better, and uh, we're going to talk about why. And uh, one thing if you notice uh, that's unique about these uh, the ABCs is their union monsters. And we haven't seen unions since Machina or Machina, whatever you want to call it. Um, at least I don't think we've seen anything too meta relevant since then that was a union monster. So it's going to be really cool to see uh, a union deck back in the meta game again. And this deck will be by far uh, a top tier, tier one deck if I had to put it in a tier list. Uh, so let's look at a assault core. So basically, 1900 attack, 200 defense, and one thing you'll notice: all level four light machine, uh, union effect monsters, and they all have really, really good stats. Uh, so basically, once per turn, you can either target one light machine type monster you control, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it. While equipped by this effect, the equipped monster is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. If the equipped monster would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one other union monster from your grave to your hand. So, you're going to see a common theme here. Basically, this one, when equipped to a monster, is going to make it unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. One does spell, and the other one does trap cards. Uh, so yeah, I think this one does spell, this one does trap. So we'll read... Buster Drake, now B Buster Drake, 1500 attack, 1800 defense, pretty solid stat lineup, again, as I said earlier, once per turn, you can target either one light, or you can target, yeah, you can either target one light machine type monster control, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card, and special summon it while equipped by this effect, the equip monster is unaffected by your opponent's spell effects, if the equipped monster will be destroyed by a battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. If this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can add one union monster from your deck to your hand. Again, uh, with the uh, equipping it so it doesn't negate or uh, makes it unaffected by spell effects, and then when this one is sent to the graveyard, you can add a union monster from your deck to your hand. So basically, any of these guys, you can search any of them, doesn't matter. You can search a copy of B Drake off B Drake, so that's really cool. Once per turn for C Crush Wyvern with 2,000 defense and 1,200 attack, uh, you can target one light machine type monster, uh, equip it to it or unequip it to it, especially summon it while equipped by this effect. The monster is unaffected by trap cards, your opponent's trap cards. If the equipped monster would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. If this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can special one union monster from your hand. Uh, so one adds from grave to hand, one special, one adds one from deck, one specials one from hand. So, very, very solid uh, effects and stats just looking at these three first monsters. And uh, these being the only ABC cards, monster cards, of course, that we're going to be getting, I think, in the structure deck. And already, these three cards uh, on their own are enough to carry the deck. And then, of course, we have some non-related ABC stuff that are going to be played in the deck that I thought I should throw in instead of just having these four cards, uh, Union Hanger and... Uh, ABC as well as just uh, Buster Dragon Buster because I wanted to kind of not only give you guys what the archetype is going to be at its core but what it'll play and what will encompass the deck you know just kind of support its play style so we have Photon Thrasher uh, you want to play this card to get your uh, I think your gadget engine going uh, definitely a very good card this card uh, ultimate rare copies this card spiked up I think to like $70 at one point I think they're now at like 50 or so uh, rares are fives, uh, Shatterfoil, um, ones, Mosaic rare ones are I think 20s, 
Uh, so if you got any copy of those laying around, you might want to dig them out and uh, either play them or sell them because they're going to be worth some money even more so in the next coming weeks. And then we have Silver Gadget and Gold Gadget. So basically, uh, Silver Gadget's effect is as follows. When this card is a normal summon or special summon, you can special summon one level 4 uh, machine type monster from your hand. If this card is from a battle card effect, you can special summon one level 4 gadget monster from your deck except Silver Gadget. You can only use one Silver Gadget effect per turn and only once per turn. So basically, Silver Gadget and Gold Gadget both float into each other. Um, and basically, you're going to be able to set up extremely easy rank 4 plays with Photon Thrasher because you can special out Photon Thrasher and then you can special summon this out and then special summon this out or normal summon, uh, do it however you want to. Basically, Gold Gadget reads pretty much a similar effect. When this card is normal special summon, you can special summon one level 4 uh, machine type monster from your hand. And yeah, not even to mention, you can special summon any one of your uh, ABC cards with the gadgets as well, so they fit really nice together. If this card is tried by a battle card effect, you can special one level 4 gadget monster from your deck, except himself, and then you can only use one gold gadget per turn, and only once that turn. Uh, and then we have Galaxy Soldier, another card you can play in the deck base. You can send one of the late monster from your hand of the graveyard, special summon this card in defense, and then you can add another Galaxy card. So basically, add another copy of himself. Pitch another light monster to grave. Could be any one of these things uh, to maybe trigger some of their effects um, or not, because yeah, they need to be sent from field to hand. But nonetheless, you can still uh, play Galaxy Soldier in the deck. You don't have to. I don't know if most builds are going to be playing Galaxy Soldier. It's just for the Infinity play. You summon one, search another one, summon it, make a quick rank five, and then you go into your Infinity with Buster Dragon. That's a pretty solid turn. And then the last card we have here is Union Hanger, a uh, field spell, basically uh, the main engine starter uh, for ABCs in my personal opinion. So basically when this card is activated, you can have one light machine type Union Monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if a light machine type monster, Union Monster or Monsters is normal, special summon your field, you can target one of those monsters equipped from your deck to that monster, one appropriate light machine type Union Monster with a different name from that monster, but that Union Monster cannot be special summoned this turn. You can only activate one Union Hanger per turn. So basically, if you go into, um, let me see if ABC is, okay, it's not a Union. Just wanted to double check. But, so basically, when you tag out your ABC Buster Dragon or Dragon Buster, and we'll, we'll get into that effect in a moment if you're not uh, sure what it does. Uh, when you tag this out to summon out all three of these, you can trigger your Union Hanger. Not only the fact that, not even to mention the fact that when you just activate it, you get a free search of any one of these cards. Uh, you can equip any one of these with one of them, a different name to make them either unaffected by monster spells or traps, and then um, you can't summon them with their special summon effect that turn, which I guess is a fair trade-off since the deck already is going to be pretty broken. Um, but Union Hanger is an amazing combo piece. Um, and I think it's definitely going to be played at three as long as well as playing copies of terraforming to go along with it. And then we'll look at the extra deck. We got ABC Dragon Buster, a level eight, I think. Yeah, level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count. Uh, level eight light machine with 3,000 attack, 2,800 defense. Amazing stats. You need A Assault Core, B Buster Drake, and C Crush Wyvern. No other exceptions. Can't substitute them for anything else, I don't think. Must be first special summon from your extra deck by banishing the above cards you control or in your graveyard. So basically, you can use the silver gadgets, um, the gold gadgets to get these off, um, and you can also use them in the graveyard. Uh, so you can definitely discard them off Galaxy Soldier, put them in the grave to help fusion summon this card. Uh, you fusion summon this card very, very easily um, by getting these monsters. You basically swarm the field um, with this, uh, with these cards. And the turns that you can't do that, you go into Tsukiyomi to basically pitch these to the graveyard to draw. And that is one of the key, like, synergy type combos that we're going to talk about in a moment. So basically, you can use, uh, the above cards from your hand or your grave, or not from your hand, but from your field or your graveyard. You don't use polymerization. Um, and I don't think, I think if you could use polymerization, I'm pretty sure you might want to play that. But, of course, you can't. Uh, once per turn during either player's turn, you can discard one card and then target one card in your opponent's field. Banish it, and that is once per turn 
during either player's turn. So it's just a pitch to banish. Luckily, it targets. If it didn't target, this card would be absolutely insane. Not to mention that it already is. You can discard one card, then target one card on the field, banish it. Uh, and then during your opponent's turn, you contribute this card, then target three of your banished light machine type union monsters with different names. Special summon them. This is a quick effect. Uh, so if they want to do Raigeki or whatever, I guess Raigeki is a bad example, but. If they want to do anything, you can chain, summon out your three, uh, your three uh, unions right here, A, B, and C, and then you can just swarm the field like that, make rank four plays with them, and then you can trigger Union Hanger, equip one of them to make it unaffected uh, by Monster Spell or Trap. So that's very, very good combo. And if you do have a turn where you're opening, uh, let's say maybe open a Thrasher, a Silver Gadget, and a Gold Gadget, and then you may open like two or three of these even you open up one or one of each or maybe just two or each um like a b drake and a uh, a crush wyvern uh you can go basically special 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 um and then you can normal one of these basically what you can do is so let's say you normal c and then you have these two in your hands this is like a basic combo you go into uh sukiyomi and then if you do, uh, you basically send your entire hand to the graveyard. So you could send all three of those technically if you if you wanted to. Uh, and then you have your graveyard set up to be able to fusion for Dragon Buster. Basically, you want to be able to fusion this card as fast as possible. Because once you do that, you're going to be winning the game pretty much. Because you're going to be able to keep reoccurring uh, that effect and uh, resummoning this card. Which is going to be uh, the key aspect, like I said, to how you're going to win the game. Uh, is just to get their engine started. This card right here is your engine starter. If you can stop this card, you can pretty much stop most of their plays, unless, of course, they can just uh, summon this card. However, maybe discarding for Galaxy Soldier, getting those cards in the graveyard. Um, so, yeah. Very, very consistent deck. Uh, as far as getting this thing out, I don't think it'll be that consistent to get out because you do need all three of them. Uh, you don't need just like two or one and multiple of the same names. You need one of each different name, so it's a little situational, but can happen pretty easily so long as you get your Sukiyomi playoff and there are various cards we can side deck against this deck uh, one being Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries of course you can just side one copy of Dragon Buster or even Sukiyomi if you wanted to uh, if you had managed up getting multiple copies of this card off in a, in a game uh, you play this and one of these and then when they summon Photon Thrasher you just toss this and they lose all their Dragon Busters uh, Gamma Seal to hit the Dragon Buster, Raw Sphere Mode to tribute away all three, and System Down just being a good card in general. Um, gets them out of the grave, and uh, just gets them banished where you don't want it. You want, you want them to be uh, where they can't come back unless they don't have this card. And then another card I wanted to mention, I want to see if it's in the database, uh, Pot of Avidity. Yeah, so basically... This card right here is going to be an amazing side deck card, and I don't think a lot of people know this. Pot of Avidity, you basically target three banished monsters, and that's anywhere. Shuffle them into the deck, and then you can draw one card. And then uh, you draw one card, you can only activate once per turn. So basically, when they go to tag out with Dragon Buster, you chain this, you put these three back in their deck, and then you draw a card. And then basically, uh, Dragon Buster back cannot resolve, and you get a free draw, and they lose... Uh, basically their huge tag out play so this card right here is going to be an absolutely amazing card coming out of Invasion Venom and it's gonna be an amazing side deck card I think you know apart from the decks they're gonna be able to main deck this card uh, to use it to their benefit it's gonna be an amazing side deck card against Cosmo if they're still relevant at the time uh, and just an amazing side deck card against a whole lot of decks uh, Phantom Knight Burning Abyss is gonna be able to play the hell out of this card DDD as well um, but yeah so that's it for featured archetype covering ABCs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think this deck is going to be definitely tier 1 meta. Uh, and when I go to uh, Toronto Regionals, which I think I should be there, uh, I expect to see a lot of this. Whether or not I'm going to be playing the deck is one thing. I'm probably going to pick it up. Uh, I still need to get gadgets. I've got Thrashers, low rarity Thrashers, but you know, you got to work with what you got. Uh, and I've got most of the side deck cards, Gamma Seals, and System Downs. Don't got Reapers. These are a little more expensive, of course, the new coming format. You don't have to play this. Um, these are kind of like five or so dollars right now. So you definitely want to pick them up. And Sukiyomi, I think Alti is like 25. So you, you want to get that as soon as possible. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this featured archetype. If you did, leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Leave your comments down in the comment section below what you think about this archetype and uh, whether or not you're going to play it. And if you have any thoughts on it or any spicy 
spicy techs you want to talk about, share them down in the comment section below. If not, that's fine too. And as always, guys, Winter Kill signing out. We'll see you in the next one.